Hello my dear friends, I am Sujoy and in this video I will tell you how to find out numerical solution of differential equations by Taylor series method. There are more than one ways to solve this type of questions. Number one is the Euler's method. Number two is Milne's predictor corrector method. Number three is Adam Batchford predictor corrector method. I have videos on all those three methods. The link to them is given in the video description below. So for now I will tell you how to solve it by Taylor series method in very easy language. So let's start. Our question is find y of point 1 and y of point 2 from y dash equals to 1 plus xy where y of 0 equals to 1. So for some basics this y dash means dy by dx that is first order differentiation and this y of 0 equals to 1 means the value inside the bracket represents the x value and value at the right hand side represents the y value. So for the first sample it is called x0 and y0 values. Next x1, y1 values and so on. So let's proceed to the solution given y dash equals to 1 plus xy. Next if we differentiate it with respect to x we will get y double dash that is d square y by dx square that is second order differentiation equals to y plus x into y dash. Differentiating again you will get y triple dash that is equals to 2y plus x into y double dash. That means in each step we will use previous steps value. That is why it will become more accurate. x0 equals to 0 from here and y0 equals to 1 from here and h equals to 0.1. h is the increment in x value. First x value is 0 next point 1, next point 2. So that is increment this by point 1. Now we will calculate the y dash 0 value, our first set of values and for y dash 0 value we will use x0 and y0 value. So y dash 0 equals to using the first formula 1 plus x0 into y0. So that is 1 plus 0 into 1 equals to 1. Next y double dash 0 using the second formula y0 plus x0 into y dash 0 that is 1 plus 0 into this value that is 1. Next y triple dash 0 that is equals to using this formula 2y0 plus x0 into y double dash 0 using the second value. So it will become 2 into 1 plus 0 into 1 that is equals to 2. Remember we are using this expression because this is our question. In your question the expression may be different but the process is same just, just differentiate continuously and get the formula and then using the x0 y0 value you will get all the y0 dash values. So next we will use the Taylor series formula which is y1 equals to y0 plus h divided by factorial of 1 into y dash 0 plus a square by factorial of 2 into y double dash 0 plus h cube by factorial of 3 into y triple dash 0. You see the number of dashes is equals to number below or the factorial number. Here power is 2, factorial is 2 and dash is 2. It is very easy to remember. Now we will put the values y0 is 1, h is 0 0.1 divided by factorial of 1 into y dash 0 that is 1 plus h square by factorial of 2 into y double dash 0 plus h cube by factorial of 3 which is 6 into y triple dash 0. So you will get 1.1053 that is y of point 1 equals to 1.105. Now for the second iteration our y value will be y2 and all the y values will be incremented by 1. So previously it was y zeros now they are all y ones. So y2 equals to y1 plus h into factorial of 1 into y dash 1 a square by factorial of 2 into y double dash 1 h cube by factorial of 3 into y triple dash 1 and so on. Next we will calculate the y dash 1 value using x1 and y1 values. So using the first formula 1 plus x1 into y1 equals to 1 plus 0.1 into our obtained value that is 1.105 which is 1.1105. Next y double dash 1 equals to y1 plus x1 
into y dash 1 y1 is 1.105 plus x1 is 0.1 into y dash 1 value about this value which is equals to 1.216 next y triple dash 1 equals to 2 into y1 plus x1 into y double dash 1 2 into 1.105 plus x1 is 0.1 into y double dash 1 our previous value which is equals to 2.3316 now we will put the obtained values in Taylor's formula so we will get so y1 is this h by 0.1 into y dash 1 this value plus h square by factorial of 2 into y double dash 1 which is this value plus h cube by factorial of 3 into y triple dash 1 that is this value so we will get 1.222 so y of 0.2 equals to 1.222 so that's it we have got our required values for y of 0.1 and 0.2 so this was my video on Taylor series how was the video let me know in the comments below I will upload more videos like this so don't forget to subscribe to YouTube channel so that when I upload my next video you will get an email if you subscribe it take a lot of effort to make a video like this so please appreciate my effort by liking and sharing the video so thanks for watching see you in my next video and still then stay connected by subscribing